Maths Olympiad Class 7 Everyday Mathematics Introduction The application of mathematics to business activities leads to the topic of consumer arithmetic. Unitary method when two quantities are related such that an increase or decrease in one causes a corresponding increase or decrease in the other, this is called direct proportion. For example, cost of two apples is rupees 12. What will be the cost of six apples? Solution. In solving the problems of this kind, we first find the value of one unit and then proceed to find the value of the required quantity. Clearly, cost of 6 apples will be more. Cost of 2 apples is equal to rupees 12. Cost of 1 apple is equal to rupees 12 by 2 that is equal to rupees 6. Therefore, cost of 6 apples is equal to rupees 6 into 6 will be 36 rupees. Ratio and Proportion a ratio is a way of expressing a relation between two quantities measurable in the same unit. Example, Ram spent 5 by 12 of his salary on clothing. Rahim spent 4 by 9 of his salary on clothing. Who spent more on clothing? Solution, we have to compare ratio 5 by 12 and 4 by 9 and find the bigger one. First, find LCM of 12, 9. LCM is equal to 3 into 3 into 4 that is equal to 36. Hence, 5 by 12 is equal to 5 by 12 into 3 by 3 is equal to 15 by 36 and 4 by 9 is equal to 4 by 9 into 4 by 4 is equal to 16 by 36. Since 16 by 36 is greater than 15 by 36, 4 by 9 is bigger ratio. So, Rahim spent more on clothing. Percentage Percentage or simply percent means out of 100. The symbol percent is used to denote a percentage. Percentage can be regarded as a fraction whose denominator is always 100. 1 percent written as 1 percent denotes the fraction 1 by 100. Similarly, 17% represents 17 by 100. Thus, it denotes 17 parts out of 100 parts. Profit and Loss In business, sale of items produced by different companies is made by traders. A trader buys articles from companies and sells them to people. The purchase price of an article by a trader from a company is called its cost price, denoted by CP. The price at which he sells the article is called its sale price, denoted by SP. The trader makes a profit when he or she sells the article at a price higher than its cost price. That is, when SP is more than CP, the gain or profit made in the sale is equal to selling price minus cost price. That is, profit is equal to SP minus CP. However, under certain circumstances, a trader is sometimes forced to sell the articles at a price 
lower than the cost price. Average. In mathematics, an average is a number representative of a set of values of the same kind. There are different types of averages. These are studied in the branch of mathematics known as statistics. Statistics is a branch of mathematics that involves the collection, classification and representation and then the study of that data. The most commonly used average is known as the mean or arithmetic of a set of values. The set of values is known as data. Bar diagrams. Bar diagrams do not use pictures and symbols to represent data. Instead, bars or rectangles are used to represent the value of each data items. The gap between one bar and the next should be constant. In other words, the bars must be equally spaced. Example, study the bar diagram given below and answer the questions that follow. Sale of ice cream in an ice cream corner is equal to 1 cm. That is equal to 10 ice creams. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. What kind of bar diagram is given above? The bar diagram is a horizontal bar diagram. What information does the bar diagram convey? The bar diagram conveys information about the day-wise sale of ice creams from Monday to Sunday in the ice cream corner. What was the maximum number of ice creams sold in a day? The bar of maximum length is 12 centimeters on Sunday. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 ice creams. Therefore, the maximum number of ice creams sold in a day is equal to 12 into 10 that is equal to 120 ice creams. On which day was the increase in the sales the greatest? How much was the increase? The difference in the increase in lengths of the bars is the greatest between Thursday and Friday. 9 centimeters minus 6.4 centimeters is equal to 2.6 centimeters. The increase in sales is greatest on Friday. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 ice creams. Therefore, increase in sales on Friday is equal to 2.6 into 10 that is equal to 26 ice creams. On which day was the fall in the sales the least? How much was the fall? The difference in the decrease in lengths of the bars is the least on Monday and Tuesday. 10 cm minus 9.5 cm is equal to 0.5 cm. 1 cm is equal to 10 ice creams. Therefore, the decrease in sales on Tuesday is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 is equal to 5 ice creams. Thank you.